Hey guys, welcome back to Progressive Watch. So, my governor, Jerry Brown, passed an ambitious piece of legislation that cuts our water consumption by 25% by, you know, reducing the amount the golf courses can use each time, calling upon citizens to reduce the amount of water they use when they um, water their grass, in addition, using only water-efficient technologies on all these things. But what's very peculiar here is that he exempt the agribusiness and the oil industries from these type of regulations. Hmm. Want to talk about political hypocrisy? Want to, want to talk about being in bed with a big money interest? This is a clear example of it. And I just want to say before getting into how horrible the oil industry is, we can see here that the Democrats are almost just as much sold out as the Republicans are. They have a very same economic philosophy, maybe a little bit of difference in the social security. And that stems from the fact, and I would quote, that the Republicans are 100% sold out to the special interests, and the Democrats are about 80% sold out to the interests. They'll throw a bone, if you will, out to the people by, you know, giving more educational benefits, uh, Obamacare, stuff like that. But it really comes down to the hard measures. The Republicans and Democrats are both sold out. So let's talk about the exemptions right now. And specifically what happens here is that the oil companies reduce and have used 2 million gallons of water every single day. And the agribusiness, 2.6 million waters every day. Now that really seems small when you compare that we use 38 billion dollars, uh, 38 billion gallons of water every single day. But let me tell you, what these agribusinesses, uh, what these oil industries are doing is that they're fracking. They're using this water specifically for fracking and fracking is absolutely horrendous for the environment. Let me show you how it's affecting my environment currently. So as we can see, fracking is done in the United, uh, in the, throughout the United States. There's over 500,000, uh, there's over 500 plants throughout the United States, and there's a multitude within California alone. Now we can see here that, that fracking is specifically the process of uh, drilling and injecting fluid into the ground so that you can break the shale rocks underneath the ground so that you can get natural gas out of it. Alright, so we understand that. In addition, you need to pump 40,000 gallons of chemicals per each fracking job every single day. 40,000 chemicals. Just put that in comparison right there. Every day that's being in there. In addition, what they have to do is inject fluids into the ground, which would normally be dry places and they couldn't get in there. So they're injecting chemicals into the ground, such as, and I quote, mercury, lead, uranium, radium, and methanol. Oh my god. Methanol, mercury, lead, uranium. Wow. That stuff is going into the ground as we're talking and as we're discussing this topic right now. In fact, specifically within California, methane concentrations are 17% higher in drinking water wells near fracking sites than in normal underground water wells. 17% higher. Hey, look, let's look at the effects of that. In fact, Thousands of people have faced sensory, neurological, and respiratory damage due to unknowingly drinking fracking water. Wow, that's a doozy right there. So we can make the argument that California wouldn't be in as bad of a drought as they would be because we would say, right, we have these underground reservoirs, right? Whereas uh, Secular Talk, Kyle from Secular Talk so eloquently pointed out, we can't use that. Because the fracking that they've done has made the water unusable. 17 higher times higher percent of methanol alone. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely terrible for the surrounding environment. In addition, we should be pushing them. Jerry Brown should be pushing them most of all to, to regulate them and make sure that they can't use these type, types of things within the water so we could still use them. He must be using water efficient technologies, not only that, but he should be pushing to ban fracking altogether. Because if we're going to have a clean energy environment, we're only going to get there through banning horrendous activities such as these. I mean, think about it. We're gonna run out of fossil fuels within the next 50 to 100 years. Do we wanna start in 50 years looking for an alternate source? No, what we wanna do is ban it right now so that we have a future and that we can build slowly, slowly, slowly so that we have a sustainable future. We're not gonna have that if big money interests continue to win out over what the people want and over what the scientific community wants. 
And the only way that we can get change to happen is through you guys. You guys are the specific way that we can sign the Wolfpack Amendment, sign the petition, donate money, give support to this cause. That's why I donate $10 every month. That's why I've signed the petition, because I know that the only way we're going to get a representative democracy that works towards our interests and towards the interests of the planet is getting money out of politics. Guys, I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' comments, and I hope I can get some, some subscriptions from you. Thank you so much for signing on.